Scatter chart is a chart that is made out of uh, representing a lot of dots put together and those dots shows relationship between two metrics. And a good example is if you want to try to predict the price of a carrot, um, diamond carrots, um, there's a lot goes into that. There is the all those variables that go into the diamond, the clarity, the color, the size, all that stuff goes into that. So if we want to try to predict the price of a certain, um, you know, diamond, um, a good chart to use is that scatter chart. And that's what we're going to be doing here. In terms of the data, I found um, a CSV file that includes um, the price and the carrot size. And it has a lot of entries. I think it has, let's see, it has 50,000 results. And it's trying to predict what would be the price and what would be the carrot size. Um, and it had other metrics um, such as clarity and color. I removed all of the other metrics, so we just focus on the price and the carrot. And I put that file in public data and called scatter.csv. The next step is we need to create our um, scatter chart component for the widget and the widget. So you can do that um, with our template. So let's create that. We'll call it scatter chart and scatter chart widget. And then don't forget to um, add an entry point. We'll call it, we'll put the import scatter chart widgets. Now let's go into our scatter chart widget and clean that up. And um, we need to add the scatter chart chart itself component right just like we always do and we're going to load our file as csv so we don't need the to load the json we can remove that here's our scatter chart then we need to point to our data scatter.csv so let's put it in our loader and let's see what else and we need to set the helper. So the helper will be scatter chart helper. And that's going to be in the scatter chart component. Okay, so now we're loading the data and we're calling the component. Um, we have a title. I added the title here so we can actually give it the title. So we can call it carrot to price. Um, prediction and then inside of our um, scatter chart we need to do a few more things let's take a look oh wait in the widget if you go to the widget folder we need to set the type so the metrics we're using for the property names is price and carrot now go back to scatter chart component and what we need to do, we can, we're not going to switching metrics, so we can delete that. Just go over the code. I added the chart group to the template. This way we can, it's easy to access and the X's and the Y axis. If you notice many of our charts, especially ones that, um, that, are, that are based on rectangles, they're not... Um, radial charts and the axis and the y axis is very similar so I added that to, our, to the template as well because it's we always do in the same process then the next thing we need to do is we need to set our scale so if you open up the helper we have the default scale set up we need to change that before we've been writing all the um, you know, figure out the math and the maximum. We did it in line, but um, another approach is to just write it as a constant and 
that easier because um, it's uh, we're less prone to errors when you re when we write all this complex um, calculation in line you know there's really it's easy to make a mistake so it's better to do it that way what we need to calculate we need to calculate two things we need to calculate the maximum price because we need to give it um, to the to our um, domain and we need to calculate the maximum carrot that we should expect and those we need to add those to our domain so we can um, so our scales will know what kind of data to work with so I'm gonna clean up the old domain and we're gonna add it to the, to the domain for both of them the way we can calculate we can just call math max and then we can ext um, you know use a complete data set and map it and then we can use our helper with the accessor we set and compare that with zero and whatever value come the most that's that's the one it's going to be using and for the maximum carrot price it's the same process we just need to use the y accessor instead of the x accessor now if you look now for the domain our life become much easier because the domain is going to be an array between zero and the maximum price that's for the x scale and for the y scale it would be zero and the maximum carrot size so you can see if you if you if we separate the code it it really makes our life much easier now go back to the scatter chart component um, if we go and refresh um, our chart you can see that we got a, a problem here it doesn't show the values that's because I forgot to set the properties name so you need to make sure you remember to set the prop the properties name our property names if you look back in our scatter CSV it's price and carrot so we need to set price and carrot for metrics and now if we refresh you can see we're already getting um, the y-axis and the x-axis the x-axis shows the price and the y-axis shows the carrot side then the next thing we need to do go back to the scatter chart component and the only thing we really have left to do is to create our um, scatter chart um, the scatter chart is really if you look at it um, it's just a bunch of dots together so what we need to do is we need to select our chart group that is already um, set in our JSX could see it here the chart group and then what we need to do is we need to um, once once those uh, elements enter the um, the DOM we need to select them and then we need to set them based on our properties right so the way we're gonna do it we're already selecting the um, the chart group we need to select all the dots element we're gonna create and we're going to do that using um, the data that we're passing from our parents component that we loaded for prediction so once the elements enter the DOM we want to append those circles and then um, if you remember when we work with circles we can look at our cheat sheet and um, we need to work with um, the CX, CY and radius so we need to set the X, Y coordinate and the radius which is half of its width so we need to set that up so for the we'll set it using the attribute so we'll set CX and we'll set CY and we need to set the radius which is R for the radius is what's the size of each one of those dots I'll use 0 0.8 we can you can make it bigger and smaller and see 
um, how it's going to look like so we can adjust that now for the um, for the CX and CY we're going to use the data that we're passing in we'll do the same for both of them the CY and CX and um, for the CX we, use, we need to use the X scale using D dot price and for the Y CY we need to use D dot um, let's see I think it was carrot yeah um, carrot you could see that TypeScript doesn't like that we're not specifying what kind of type it is so um, we can either ignore that or a better approach is just to cast it as our types data and once we cast it to the type data we can select price we need to take that out and it's still complaining because our data we set it with a question mark so it could be um, not defined so what we need to do is we need to um, cast it as number to make sure it's going to return something let's see okay and then we can do the same for the carrot so instead of using um, TS ignore we can actually set it up like that then we also need to set the fill so we'll use style and set the fill to as we always do tomato let's test it it's look like we got an error here it's just aligning everything on one line so let's take a look yeah that's because you could see here I'm doing scales X scale on both of them the um, for the C X and C Y so let's change that this takes few seconds to load because we have 50,000 results and here we go we got our uh, scatter chart working and it shows us the carrots and it shows us the price